My last game in the NHL was probably 2002, and I went to Russia. I played two more years for uh, Magnitogorsk. Oh, the last year I played in 2004, and uh, after that uh, was a lockout year, and I moved back to Russia and I played another 10 years there. Back in 1989 or 88, none of the Soviet hockey players went to draft itself. Uh, before the draft happened and asked me if I wanted to play for Washington, I said yes, uh, yeah, just have to get there. <laughs> and they said, don't worry, we'll do something about it. Dmitry Hrysic is uh, one of the best players I play with ever. He came to the NHL uh, like uh, four years before me and he played in the Caps and I always watch him, I always love how he play and he's, he's a really smart guy, he's, uh, I think he's one of the best I play with. I met him when, my, when I came back the uh, second time to Washington, he was here and we become good friends. I learn a lot from this guy and uh, we become the good friends. He works for me like assistant coach too when I become the head coach in Russian League. He took me, I was a video coach for, the, for him, for those two teams, it was, even though that was just in one season. But uh, it was a great experience also to, to work with the KHL. But I'm not, not coaching right now, he's not coaching. We're looking for something uh, to get together, but uh, beside the work, he's a really good friend, he's a really good person. The biggest uh, memories from uh, playing in NHL were with the Capitals. You can't buy this. It's in your memories, it's in your heart, it's in your mind. Uh, all those guys and all those things what you did with the Caps. And uh, I think this is a family.